Hey guys, an epic day here. Um, today I'll be showing you guys how to install cracked apps. Um, I want to first say that I do not endorse this at all, and this is just for educational purposes only. Now, if you're wondering how I'm recording my iPod right now, I am using um Beansy, which I got from Studio. Um, you need to jailbreak your iPod to get Studio. If you want, oh, first of all, the requirements for this you need um an iPod Touch. Uh, it doesn't really matter which generation you have. But you need to have Cydia, and to get Cydia, you need to jailbreak your iPod. I just posted a video how to do it in uh, five to ten minutes. You should watch that if you don't um, have this. If you don't if you didn't jailbreak your iPod yet. So um, how I'm recording this is with a thing called the VNC from Cydia and a VNC server from uh, the internet for free. So first, what you want to do is you want to go into Cydia. And then we're gonna want to um, add a source. So um, let it load data. Oh, it takes a while to load data. All right. Now what you're gonna want to do is go to manage. Hit uh, sources. Now you may already have this source in. But uh, just if you don't, here it is. Itaculo.us. Oh, let it reload data again. So um, how to add sources? First, you're gonna want to click on the um edit button. Let's just wait for this data to go off. Any day. So we're gonna go up to the top right on edit. Then you want to click add, and I'm just going to type in Cydia dot hack dot us, and then you want to click add source. But since I already have it, I'm not going to do it. So um, once you do that, hit done. It will um it will reload the sources. It bring you to like the city install thing. So then what you want to click on. Is the hackulo.us? Well, it looks like it's loading for some reason. Come on, iPod, you can do it. All right. Then what you want to um, install is uh, install this, which is right here. You can also use the search at the bottom right to search for install this. Here it is, installs is the perfect app to install and download IPAs. So you're going to go to the top right, it says modify for me, but for you it would say uh, install, and then it would go to another screen, you have to hit confirm, but since I already have it, it comes up with reinstall remove. So then if you're running 2.2.1, you have to install my patch firmware 2.2.1. You need this, so um, see my patch uh, patches the mobile installation file. So that you can install your cracked IP. So you're gonna to want to uh, install that just the way you installed uh, install this. So I'm not gonna do it since I already have installed. So go back to your uh, home, and now you have an icon that looks just like this uh, little green thing I have in the bottom center. But that might be all the way at your right. I have it down in my uh, dock, the base thing. So I just wanna open that up. Then it'll bring you right to their browser. So let's see what app do I want? I'll just search newest browse by newest apps, but there is a search you can search for apps, but um I don't I don't know what app I want, so I'll just see what the newest app is I'll get. So let's see. Hmm. What shall I get? How about nothing fun here? Let's look for more fun apps. Hmm. Let's just get Wizard of the Forest. So you click on whatever you pick, and at the top right here, it says the category it's in, its latest version, which is 1.0, the price in the App Store, and its size, and the date it was released. So this looks like an RPG game. It looks like, one, like an old Zelda game. It will tell you this is the description they have in the App Store right here. It's the exact same description, and the languages it comes in. The requirements and download. 
if there was a new version, say version 2.0, it would also say right here what is in the new version. So I'll click on version 1.0. It'll bring you to a screen that has iPod friendly links and other links. iPod friendly links are the links you can download using your iPod. Other links you can use, um, you can go to appylo.us on the computer and download from other links, but here we're uh, going to pick AppScene. I usually pick AppScene or uh, a 4 shared or 2 shared. I hardly ever pick getapp.info or uh, some other, there's like crap info or something. So then let it load. On most of them, you're going to have to put in like a little capture right here. So this is just a small one. So uh, let's see. 87SR. You don't have to make an account to do this. You can just go on here whenever you want. So uh, submit. Come on. Then I'll bring you right to uh, what happened? Download whatever. Okay, let's look for a different app then. There's the download error. That's not good. So let's just do it again. Let's just pick the first one that comes up. All of his friends. Who cares? Blah blah blah. Same exact thing. I can see right here version noon 1.1.3. It's minor, minor bug fixes. So uh, let's just download this. Pick app scene again. Hopefully it works this time. Enter the capture again. Once it loads. There it is. WSS9. Hit submit. Here it comes to this screen. You're gonna want to hit download. Do not hit install. Do not hit install yet. Hit download first. So it brings it to the download screen. It will eventually show up, but uh, how fast you're downloading it? Very, oh, look at that. Oh, it's this very small app. But as you can see, that was really quick. So then you want to go to downloads, and it'll be right there. Let me just show the settings first. This is your install method. Clean method is when you install the new version, it automatically deletes the old version. Dirty, uh, right here, that it makes two different it makes the newer one like uh, a different app, so you can have two of the same apps. iTunes sync is that the uh, apps will sync to iTunes. I don't do that. I delete after install, I delete the download and keep the app, and I don't have my debug button on. So first you hit, you hit it, and then you hit the install button. And now it will install. fixing permissions and there we go so now go back to your home screen sometimes it takes a while to go back to your home screen after you're done installing so I'll uh, just let it go back to your home screen so I'm almost back there but none of my icons up oh, there let's go all the way to the right and there you'll see is the friends thing so let's see if it works. And there we go. Sign in. I don't have an account, so uh oh, Xbox.com, maybe I can sign in. Let's just see if I can sign in. Um See if that works. Remember, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, you can send an email to in You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash daily app reviews. Or we can go to my Nally open my uh, WordPress site that is still under construction, but I've opened it uh, in appaday.wordpress.com. So it looks like this isn't gonna um, turn in. So uh, see you guys.